Okay, my friends, Roger once again, Mount Foster University. I'm going to be reaching out to NASA to find out if they do have Schumann simulators on the space shuttle. Now, uh, you know, on the uh, International Space Station. So, uh, now, in my world of electron flood theory, the Schumann resonance frequency of the Earth scrubbing through the electrons in space creates an electric discharge every so often that's called a Schumann frequency. If we don't have that electric discharge I don't think it can stimulate our cells to react correctly. Our heartbeat works on the lowest Schumann frequency 7.83 Hertz exactly exactly the same as the Schumann frequency. So I think they must have these or these people are going to be sick. Now I'm going to reach out to them. I'm going to show you why I say these things. Now before I do that I just want you to understand that I, the electron flood theory, if you've been following me, everything consists of electrons. Electrons are, are dipoles, they have a strong and a weak force, but they oscillate due to the Schumann frequencies which is the earth charging up and discharging, charging up and discharging. They say lightning does it, which it does, because it's, it's accepting a whole bunch of extra electrons as it scrubs and then discharging them, accepting and discharging. And then they drop down through the different layers, push to shove, push to shove, push to shove until they hit the earth. That gives you the layers of the different zones in the atmosphere, ionosphere, trophosphere, magnosphere, all that business. Now, Let's just go a little deeper. All right, here's something more to judge this on. Does Schumann resonance affect our blood pressure? This is the National Institute of Health, too. And let's just cut right down. To, I just go right for the major discussion. And uh, it says the cases for linking changes in the ambient magnetic field to observable changes in higher life form can be found in scientific literature. In, for instance, geomagnetic storms have been found to be accompanied by degradation and destruction of mitochondria and loss of circadian rhythmicity. That's how your heart beats in the heart rate of rabbits. And then it goes on and on and on about that it does appear to affect the physical the physical biology and it says the principal excitation source of Schumann resonance is cloud to ground discharges. What is happening? I'm going to show you, well let's just go to the big board, but uh, there's three noise sources interferences, geomagnetic, geomagnetic pulsations which have much larger amplitudes than um, those of, Schum of Schumann resonance and can bleed into the lower frequency 7.5. They, they, they're, they're not consistently exact. They fluctuate depending upon how hard we are impacting the stuff that we're plowing through. Let's talk about it. Okay, we're going to take a look at what uh, NASA has to say about repairing um, DNA in space, but I can tell you this right now, that the human autonomic nervous system, the rhythms, bio mechanisms, bio, everything biological happens because of the geomagnetic influences, basically the Schumann resonances. That's my statement and that's my claim. Now it says overall it suggests that daily autonomic nervous system activity not only responds to changes in solar and geomagnetic activity but is synchronized with the time varying magnetic fields associated with geomagnetic field line resonances and Schumann resonances. The time varying magnetic fields those are the pulses of electricity that stimulate the electrons to respond the way they respond in their atomic orbitals. And I can't see how outer space can work without having a Schumann frequencies in my atomic model. So I am assuming they have Schumann frequencies, but I can't verify that. 
However, I did contact a NASA, I hope, they say, ask NASA, and I said, is there Schumann simulators on these, you know, because here's what they say, let's hear, let's hear what they have to say. This is space to ground studying DNA, the break, breaks in um, outer space. Now, this is my buddy Pedro. Hey, Pedro, thank you, my friend. I'm going to check into it. He's a NASA guy. Now, let's see what they have to say. Welcome to Space to Ground. I'm Leah Cheshire. This week, Chris Cassidy continued research into how the body repairs DNA damage in space. Due to increased exposure to radiation in space, DNA damage can have long-term effects on astronaut health. The Genes in Space 6 experiment evaluates the entire DNA repair process by inducing DNA damages and assessing mutation and repair. On Tuesday, Cassidy set up the Biomolecule Sequencer, a device that can sequence DNA in space with a new flow cell where the samples are added. Understanding how DNA damage and repairs occur in microgravity can contribute to procedures to protect astronauts not only on the space station, but also on future missions to the Moon or Mars. Let me just make a statement. As far as I can determine, the biology works within a range of Schumann frequencies because the Schumann frequency isn't exactly this every single time, bing, bing, bing. It it's varies dependent upon the pressure that's put against the atmosphere. And during the day, it's different than it is at night because we're being pressurized by the sun during the day and not at night. So it's a different a different impact, a different frequency, a different amount of discharges which creates a different frequency. That's the difference. And I, I, I'm going to show you on, on the big board in a second, but this is my claim and I can't believe that the Schumann frequencies, uh, I can't believe they can, can exist healthy without having the correct Schumann frequencies. It doesn't make sense to me. Not within my model. Now, I'd like to see if they do have those those different um, resonators out there that that give them that same molecular interaction, which to me creates the orbitals in the the molecules. That's what my model predicts. Now I could be wrong. All right, here's the Schumann frequency stuff. Electron flood theory, by now you should understand, electron flood means that there's nothing but electrons, 100% electrons, and they come as photons, which are, the electrons are like this, they have a strong force and a weak force. Right? They can be separated, and that creates the dark energy, which is, they call boson, muon, whatever you want to call it, but it's the dark energy. Together they're photons, and they flood against the Earth. The Earth scrubs through them, and where they interface, the transition here is a rip across here. It's called the ionosphere, the magnetosphere, all in that area. It's scrubbing against those electrons, forcing electrons in. It's very, very hot out there compared to the surface of the Earth way down here. Now, it's push, and it shoves back push and it shoves back. That's what creates the pressure, these zones. I call it push to shove and the, the, the strong force is the white force. The white force is pushed down, but it has to push against something else. They push back up. They push down, they push back up, back, 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 until the earth absorbs the final electrons. Now, this is the pulsations that make all the electrons work in molecules because I've always wondered what gives the why do molecules vibrate what keeps the what keeps the vibration going in there it's the Schumann frequencies it's this this electric discharge because that's what all it is is what happens is this scrubs it creates an excessive amount of electricity and it goes discharges and then it, it builds back up again and then it discharges and it just it's a every 7.83 hertz boom 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 that's the electricity discharge and then there's another one down here that happens when this one and this one and this one and this one 
it's and and they each one of them there's seven different frequencies seven zones there's seven different layers on the periodic chart um, I say that the electrons are the part that's within every nucleus and there's 17 uh, 1837 of them per proton. If you took a proton, it's really, in reality, it's 1837 of these right here, which are electrons. And the dark particles all congeal together, and the explosive ones go on the outside. So more explosive ones hit, they bounce off. That's what happens. And steam is 1700 times more massive than the water that it came out of. So when you turn that water back into water, it's, it reduces it by 1,700 times. That's the whole key of heating up water into its vapors. And then when it recombines, you get fusion. It's literally fusion. So you've, you've pushed, you've taken water, which is H, two and O, so two hydrogens and oxygen, you've turned them into oxygen and water and, and hydrogen. And when they recombine, they fuse together. That's what the electron flood theory does with the Venturi. And I think we can create enormous amounts of free electricity, non-polluting, 100% electric charge, for f basically for free, as far as I can determine. It's got to be looked into, but the Venturi, I think, is a solution to all of our problems. And it, it, it stops burning fossil fuels, which is the explosive, concussive, destructive part that goes into the atmosphere and expands in the atmosphere. That's what the problem is. If you take hydrogen and oxygen, you've got water. When you use it, it turns, it turns into electricity, it does a bunch of work, but then it turns back into water again. So you didn't add any more molecules into the atmosphere that you have to somehow scrub out, which is the carbon. Okay, well, I guess I'll just wait to hear back from uh, NASA about the Schumann resonance, but during the day, it pushes hard against, because the, the, the light from the sun pushes the pressure. Right? There's a difference between the day and the night. Anyway, it, 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 so there's a variation that you can work with then. But I think if you just completely go outside of the Schumann frequencies, you're, you're in trouble. And that means way outside on our, our the way to Mars and so forth. That's going to be an issue unless you can somehow recreate that same pulsation of electrical discharge. And basically that's what it is. It's an electrical pulse that shocks all of the molecules into this vibration, which Tesla talked about. This is everything, 100% vibration, that's all it is. Push to shove, 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 and that is what creates the um, interaction between atoms to keep them having energy. Basically, that's what it boils down to.